It's the, uh, the early team news for this match. Is uh, Rudiger fit to play? And are there any other fresh injury concerns? As usual, uh, after the national team, so there are some problems. Uh, so now we have uh, the most uh, serious, I think, uh, is uh, with Ampadu. Then uh, we have a little problem uh, with Odoi and a little problem uh, with Barclay. But for, uh, for Odoi and uh, Barclay, it's only a question of uh, one, two days. The, the, the injury of Odoi, I think, uh, is serious. I don't know how much, but uh, serious. So we hope to, to recover him uh, in a couple of weeks. And Rudiger, fits a play? Uh, Rudiger and, uh, has done better in the last uh, two days, uh, like uh, Kovacic. I think they, they will be able to play. Mauricio, uh, Eden Hazard told us yesterday that maybe he'll finish his career at Chelsea and that uh, he may sign a new contract. Are you hopeful that he's going to sign a new contract sometime soon? But of course, of course, Eden uh, for us uh, is not important, it's determinant. So he's a fantastic player. Uh, and so. It will be very important for us uh, if uh, he will remain with us. Uh, very, 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 very important. But uh, I think also that uh, he can win uh, everything, also the Ballon d'Or, uh, here, without playing in Spain. Because, for example, if uh, <coughs> Chelsea uh, will be able to win the Champions League and the Belgium national team will be able to win the Europa Cup, he will be able to win everything without playing in Spain. There's been a lot of talk about Real Madrid and the former president, Ramon Calderon, has said that uh, He's being kept here like a slave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> so you're denying that one. <laughs> I don't think so. And <laughs> uh, in uh, the last three months, I have uh, seen uh, him uh, always very happy, <laughs> so I don't think so. It's not true. What about Mourinho coming back to Chelsea? Because um, this is Chelsea's best start to a Premier League season since Mourinho was here four years ago. But would you say that Chelsea now are playing a, a better style of football than they did under Jose? I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, because uh, we are talking about uh, a, a coach uh, who has won everything. Uh, he has won uh, everywhere. So I think that uh, I have to respect him. But I think also that uh, you all have to respect him. Last year, he called your predecessor, Conte, a clown. And Conte said that he had senile dementia. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are your feelings about Mourinho's records, specifically seven, seven trophies here at Chelsea? I think that uh, he is a, a very good uh, coach. He is a very good manager. One, uh, one of the best in the world, of course. And so I don't know the, the problem with, uh, with Antonio. I, mean, I think that uh, uh, on the pitch sometimes uh, we are a little bit uh, nervous, a little bit tense. So you, you, you can say everything in, in that moment. But uh, I think that uh, it's, not, uh, it's not important, but uh, I think that uh, Conte uh, 
respect uh, Mourinho and vice versa. Amy. Maurizio, I'm sure you saw the comments to Karen Carney, one of the women's players on social media, uh, which, like most of you probably uh, saw, were pretty disgusting. I just wondered what your thoughts were on one of the women's Chelsea players. Uh, what I think, those kind of uh, said to what I think uh, first of all, I have seen the, the last match against Fiorentina. She is a very good midfielder, I think. She scored it. And uh, about the, the, the situation, what can I say? Uh, it's not acceptable. It's disgusting. Um, I don't know what, what else to say. How much of a concern is it for you the use that footballers do get on social media, regardless of whether they're with men or women? A prescindere di essere uomini e donne, questa attenzione negativa che i giocatori viene dalle società prendono le società. I don't know, I am not used uh, to, to, to use them. Uh, I think that uh, you can uh, use uh, a, a social, but only for working not for socializing. Um, I have a problem to, to speak uh, uh, to, to my friends uh, on the phone because I like very much to speak to them uh, face to face, to have uh, a dinner today, together. So I don't know what to say. Uh, it's not my word. <laughs> I don't know. John. On Jose Mourinho, you say we should all respect him. Do you think at the moment he's not getting the respect that he deserves in this country? I don't know. Mm. I think no at the moment, but uh, I, I, I am not really sure because uh, I try, I don't want to, to read anything because I, I know very well that uh, in football, uh, especially for a, a coach, uh, we have uh, positive uh, periods and uh, negative periods. And uh, in, a, in a negative period, I, I want to, to think uh, only with my mind. And so I am trying to not to read anything. Having said that, have you been surprised with what's happened at Manchester United and how they've started? A little bit, but uh, I think that it, it can happen. Uh, um, we, we are talking about only eight matches. Uh, they are doing well uh, in Champions League, um, so they have the opportunity to, to improve in Premier League. Uh, we are talking about uh, two months. How do you expect Jose Mourinho to approach the game tomorrow? Do you think he'll come and try and stifle oh. you, stop you playing? <coughs> well, I think so, but I think also that uh, uh, they are a very stronger team. Uh, maybe that uh, player by player, uh, they, they are the best team uh, in the Premier League. You think they're so, City player, but player so uh, player. at the moment, uh, I think that uh, uh, City is better like a team. But uh, uh, player by player, they, they are really very, very strong. So uh, I don't know if. Uh, they will play on us, or uh, they will try to, to, to play their football. I just want on Eden Hazard. If you, have you sat down with him and spoken to him and said, you, know, you mentioned he can win the Ballon d'Or here, have you told him that? No, not at the moment, uh, because I have seen uh, him for the first time in the last two weeks, uh, only yesterday. <laughs> so, but. Uh, I want to, to tell uh, to tell it to, to him uh, very soon. Martin. This year, eight games, 20 points is a fantastic start. Is there more to come? Have you reached where you want to be after just eight games? I, I don't know. I think that uh, I'm really very happy with the results. But I think that uh, we need to improve, and I think also that uh, we can improve. Uh, we can improve there because uh, 
we have had uh, no time to to work. Uh, I had uh, eight players uh, only on, on the beginning of August. Uh, then uh, we have started uh, to play every three days. So uh, it's very difficult to work, it's very difficult to improve the team, it's very difficult to improve the players. And uh, I think that uh, in the future uh, we, we, we can improve and uh, we need to improve. To improve more on the, on the performance, on, on the defensive phase. Uh, because uh, at the moment uh, we are giving to, to, to many opportunities to the opponents. So we need to improve, I think. OK, last two, Liam and then Matt. Maurizio, um, Andreas, oh, okay. <laughs> Andreas Christensen's father has said that Andreas will look for a transfer in January if he doesn't play more between now and then. The father? Yes. Um, I am not interested. The father, no. <laughs> the father, no. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I think that uh, in the in the first part of the season, uh, David and uh, Antonio have played uh, really very well. So it's not easy uh, to change. I think also that in the in uh, our uh, last uh, six matches, uh, Christensen has played in three matches. So I, I think that uh, for uh, his father, probably uh, Europa League is not important. But for us, it's important. What, what does Andres, is there something he can do more, maybe, to get into your starting level? Ah, he's very young. I think uh, he has to improve. But uh, I think that uh, he's a technical defender. So I think that uh, he's uh, uh, suitable for me in my way of football. And uh, I think that uh, in the future, he will be able uh, uh, to play very often. OK, last question, Matt. Um, Alvaro Morata, you've spoken about him often, but he's been linked with a move today. Um, there's a report that says Chelsea have lost patience with him. Do you still have patience with Morata? I think that uh, they, they don't uh, know me very well. I am not able to think uh, at the market at the moment. I am uh, uh, completely focused on, uh, on my team, on improving my team, on improving my players. And uh, uh, in the last month, I think uh, that uh, uh, Morata has uh, uh, played better. And uh, in the last uh, three days, I have seen him very well in training. Very, very well.